Here's the test. Whoa! Look at that. Nice, huh? Hello again, boys and girls, and welcome to another exciting, action-packed episode of What's in the Box. So what am I doing? My father collected uh, model trains for over 70 years. Lionel, Marklin, K-Line, MTH. He left us with 209 boxes that look just like this. So it's my job to go through these boxes, to inventory all the items, value them, and then go ahead and sell them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm glad you're watching today. This is episode number 10. I'm very happy that I got this far. Episode number 10. Today, I'm going to go through two boxes. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Let's take a look at box number one. So it looks like what we, looks like what we have here is uh, some Lionel cartons inside, some, some Lionel boxes inside the main box. Um, looks like more modern stuff than anything else, but, but we'll see. Item number one. Let's see what this says on here. Inside 1998 inside track VAT car. Let's see what this looks like. Inside VAT track car. Looks like the old pickle car that they had, right? So it's a VAT car like that, and it has a railroad club, railroad club. So I guess it's supposed to be, I don't know, vats of uh, chocolate or candy. Pretty cool. That's a modern piece, not a post-war. Item number two, Lionel Corporation box car. It's a pretty nice box it's in, actually. Pretty heavy-duty box, box that the box car is in. Not sure if this is 64, 64 series or not, but it's a Lionel Corporation blue and orange box car. So it has the actual Lionel colors, which we all know by now is blue, orange, and white. Next, next box. A Christmas aquarium car. This looks pretty cool. Is there a date on here? No date. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Gentle with the box, because the boxes are worth money as well especially when the item comes inside of it an aquarium car so there's obviously fish in here i guess right i wonder if it's uh, motorized because nothing's spinning right now maybe when it goes it spins because right now it says aquarium car right christmas aquarium car it must be that when this moves or rotates yeah there's an electron on the bottom you have this little item here which runs on the third rail the middle rail which gives it some power and it looks like inside that thing will turn around in a circle and you'll see fish and something else in there it's an aquarium car so it's supposed to be you would assume fish but all i see in there is santa claus and a reindeer and it came with paperwork yeah that's exactly what happens so when, when it when it gets gets power it does rotate around. There's a light inside, a light bulb, and it illuminates. It looks like a film that runs around. Cool. Okay, this is a Visitor 8 Center reefer car. Also modern era, not a post-war era piece. It says GT Grand Turk Western. This is a large box car. Oh, nice. It says refrigerated box car on there. Grand Turk Western. All blue. Nice looking piece right there. Visitor Center Bay Hopper. So another kind like that. This is pretty cool. This has a uh, orange and this is the orange, blue, and white again. Line out colors. These are pretty cool box cars. They're really packaged incredibly well. Now this is a, a coal car, right? A hopper. Hopper car. So it's got simulated coal in the top of the car. Pretty nice, right? Cool. Model number 19999. This is 19th anniversary, 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary. It must be the 10th anniversary of Lionel taking the company back over because this was not made in 1910, which is when a Lionel, Lionel was originally uh, founded. Last piece in the first box. 
nondescript brown. Oh, but inside is a Lionel box inside this box. Oh, right. This is a Toy Fair, a Toy Fair car. 2004 Lionelville Toy Fair. Does it say 64, 64? It doesn't. Okay. Again, a lot of paperwork on this. Not paperwork, but um, a gel pack. That's very nice. Good color scheme on that, too. See that? Let me close the door. Good color scheme. Looks very, very nice. Okay. Okay, now it's time for the second box. It said dollhouse furniture on there, but it's not dollhouse furniture. This looks like much more older stuff, much older stuff, so it's going to be post-war era, so 1950s probably and 60s. Some tissue paper, some an older box, so this looks to be a little more exciting than the last box. We'll see what happens. Piece number one, it's a little heavier. 2454 on the box. It is a box car. 2454. Oh, my dad looks like he wrapped this one up in tissue paper. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, this is really cool. This is definitely uh, post war. That's a baby Ruth car. This one is very, very unique. I remember this as a kid. It's, it's heavy. It's metal, right? I think it's all metal. I could be wrong. Definitely the, 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 the truck is metal, but I think the top, maybe, I don't know if it's metal or plastic, but it's a very heavy, it's a heavier box car. Not a 64, 64 series. It's a little smaller. This says Missouri Pacific box car, Eagle Wright. 64, 64, 150, Missouri Pacific. He he went to put on here Eagle Wright. I, I wonder if that means something, like it's a special, either a misprint or some kind of a special run by Lionel, which makes it more um, more uh, so rare and expensive. Wow, that is that is a really good-looking car, a really good-looking box car. Oh, there, the door does work. That is really pretty. So it's blue, yellow, and gray, merchandise service, Eagle. Oh, I guess that's why I said Eagle. Is Eagle Eagle is actually on the car itself? MP Missouri Pacific. Cool. As I mentioned previously, my dad was a um, a box car nut. He loved the sixty four sixty four and ended up getting a lot of them. He has a lot of duplicates in these boxes too. Oh, be careful. This says. Baby Ruth boxcar orange. So we already had one Baby Ruth boxcar orange. I wonder if it's, if it's the same the same model number or a different model number. I know a lot of these things had various or uh, many variations when they were made because they were printed for over multiple years, so they would make, make changes. All right. So this one feels a little lighter. Hold on. Actually, they, they both feel the same. So I'm not sure if these are identical or not. They look to be pretty similar. So maybe he just liked to collect them and he has two of these. Yeah, he didn't necessarily stop at just one piece. Oftentimes he would buy multiple pieces and then he would clean it up and then sell it at a train meet. This says it's a caboose, a brown caboose. D L and W. D L and W brown caboose. Okay. Pretty nice. Any damage? No damage, right? No, that's, that's clean. I don't know what DLNW stands for, but I will find out, obviously, when I do the value, valuing of the uh, items. Okay, the rest of the stuff is in boxes inside the big box. This is a 6119-75 work caboose. A work caboose. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, similar to the other one. Again, the same DL&W. That's kind of a unique looking caboose too. It's got like some kind of a, an opening in the front, like a bin in the front. These two like that. Not the usual kind of caboose you're used to from Lionel. Okay. An automobile car, 6468-25. Had an automobile car yesterday, um, or the last episode rather, and it had all yellow autos on it. 
and it, it was all original. And this is not an automobile car. So it's in the it's in the wrong box, I guess. It is. This is a New Haven box car. I like the orange and black. 64, 68, 25. 64, 68, 25. Bizarre. Automobile car, but there's no autos on it, but it's got the same number. That's a mystery. I have no idea why that is, because that sure as heck is not an automobile car. Okay. Union Pacific Switcher 645. So we finally get to an engine. Yes. I like the rolling freight, but I really like engines a lot better. So is this going to be the Union Pacific gold and a yellow, red, and black, or is it going to be the all-black Union Pacific? It's the yellow. Yes, it is. Yellow and red. We had, we had a similar one of these uh, in the, about two boxes ago. This is very plasticky looking and feeling. Um, it's got to be an 027 piece, which is the cheaper version of Lionel stuff, but it's still a post-war, but it's a switcher. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Missile fire range. Missile fire range? Okay. I, I was, this is always funny to me. They made this thing where you would actually fire missiles at a car and you had an exploding boxcar. No idea really why they made this, but it's, it's kind of fun. The exploding boxcar actually had a spring inside that would just spring by itself. You didn't actually have to hit it with a missile to have it go off. But... This is the, um, it appears to be the platform where you, oh, it's both. It's the platform where you file, file the missiles, fire the missiles, and the boxcar itself. So, here we go. Oh, he's got the missiles, too. I wonder if these are original. So, is this manual or is it powered? It's not powered, so it's manual. So, it looks like you would slide the missiles down. Oh, those two are locked into place. Oh, okay. So you slide the missile down. Let's go. Stay locked. There it is. One, two. Let's do a test and see how far these things actually fire. You know what? Let's take out the boxcar first. As long as we're doing this test. This is the target range exploding boxcar. That's how it comes apart. And let's see how these missiles fire, how far they go. Ready? Here's the test. Whoa. Look at that. Nice, huh? That was just amazing, compelling, riveting. Absolutely riveting. The exploding boxcar with the launcher. No idea why they made this. It's just it has no, uh, it has no place in reality. But you know what? It's still pretty cool. Looks like a hopper, because I can feel the top, it's empty. This is going to be a, is it Northwestern? NMW covered hopper, black. 6446 is the, uh, is the uh, number on this one. NNW, again, oh, Norfolk and Western. Nice black hopper, cool. We could be stuck, this box would have all box cars or one switcher. We will see, we will see. 64, 60, 64, 46 cement car. It's going to look a lot like the hopper. Okay, there it is. Another one. I mean, another road name of um, Norfolk and Western. Something loose in there. Next piece. Number 6672 refrigerator car. Let's take a look at this. This is like a rolling freight person's dream right here. It's got a lot of rolling freight in it and a lot of interesting looking pieces. That's pretty neat looking. It's a refrigerated box car. Yes. Does it do anything? I wonder if it's got any kind of... It's, no, there's nothing underneath to show that it gets any kind of power and therefore it's not going to actually do anything. Oh, but the doors are cool. Okay, so these doors are really cool. So they slide in and they lock in a place and you actually, actually have to pull them, pull them forward to get them to slide over. This is called the Root of the Chief SFRD. So I guess it's Santa Fe RD. Santa Fe Rail Delivery? Don't know. Normally it's ATSF, Atherton, Atherton, eh, 
Atchison, Topeka, Santa Fe. I did that in like video number three. I always have a hard time saying that. We are down to our last piece in the box. Okay. The Lionel Corporation. Lionel Electric Trains, number 3419 operating helicopter car. As I discussed in the last video, a lot of times the components that go on the actual uh, flat cars or box cars are more expensive than the car itself because people tended to lose them and therefore you had to get aftermarket third-party items to, to, to replace them and those weren't, weren't as nice. Not that they weren't as nice, but they weren't original. So these four rockets, I'm not sure if the four rockets on the exploding box car are real or not, or real, real meaning if they came with the original set or not. And again, I'm not sure about this helicopter, if this helicopter is real or not in this, in this car. So there is the helicopter. As, as I recall, you turn this and it clicks into place. Yeah. You turn, 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 turn. You lock it like this. And then you let it go and it flips open. So that's the actual flat car piece of it. And this is going to be the helicopter. And this thing, of course, it was a disaster. It went up and came crashing down. Wow, that looks like it could be original. It looks like it could be. All right, so you would put this on here. Actually, I, I, take, you know, I take it back. I don't think it launches this one. I think it just rotates the, the propellers, but I could be wrong. Let's see. It does look like an original helicopter that goes on that. So it's a 3419 and a really old looking Navy helicopter. This will just this Navy on the side, not U.S. Navy, just Navy. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Stay, stay, good boy. That's it for this episode of What's in the Box. Got a lot of rolling freight. Going to go through the valuing portion now, so stay tuned. So to go through what we have, we had a post-war caboose over here on this side and a matching post-war caboose on this side. Both are very, very similar, different model numbers and different colors. We have a pre, I'm sorry, a modern era VAT car. We have the Lionelville box car, both modern era pieces here. We had the aquarium car, modern era piece. And we had a very attractive looking orange and blue hopper car, modern era piece. We had two baby Ruth cars, both post-war both in good condition, good-looking cars, and I think they are they have a good value on them because of uh, of what they were at the time, meaning because there's their, their rarity. We have the Norfolk and Western uh, Hopper. We have the New Haven box car. We have the helicopter car. I believe the helicopter is original with the car, but I will find out. We have the Chief refrigerated box car. Very nice. We have the Missouri Pacific Eagle box car, 6464 with the yellow door. I believe this is a very expensive car. Probably not as much as the Alaska, which went for $430, the Alaska box car, but I think it's, it's close. In the back, we have the missile launcher and the exploding car, which I talked about before is kind of funny. And then I left the list piece for last. This is sometimes why Lionel gets a bad rap. They put out some really great stuff and they put out some crappy stuff this switcher is just not up to par it's a really really cheaply made cheap engine i realize you have to cater to everyone when you make products but this is a really cheap cheap uh, uh item here i'm gonna value it and i'll bet it's worth a lot of money who knows but i just don't like when they make stuff like this when you look at the post-war f3s and the fairbanks morse and the modern era fairbanks morse you're like oh my god they're so ornate they took such time in detail this is basically a standard truck that they used on a bunch of switchers and they just threw a, ca a cap on. So there's a bunch of different caps, bunch of different road names and colors just to get, you know, mass produce it and crank it out. That's why a lot of people like MTH or other smaller manufacturers better because they take more time and more effort to do detailed pieces and have smaller batches and smaller runs. But I will get off my soapbox. That's it for this edition of What's in the Box. Thank you so much for watching. I've gotten through 10 episodes. Yeah. Take care, guys. Have a good day.